guys, so today I'm going to be reading Expect a Fly Trap, so let's get started. Chapter 10. This was a tough case. Why were there only one shoe? Why was it so big? Why did it taste like all the fish, the beach, ropes, boot, boats, a treasure chest, the seven seas, and dirty feet? I suddenly I knew the answer. Aha! I shouted. I have solved another big deal mystery. Do you know where the shoe hit? Do you know who the whose shoe this is? Asked Coco Dodo. Yes, it belongs to a peg leg pirate. What's a peg leg pirate? Asked Coco Dodo. A peg leg pirate is a pirate who has lost a leg. Maybe a shark ate the leg, or maybe Cannibal hid it. So he has one real leg and one wooden leg. He only needs one shoe. But why is it a big shoe? Because he's a giant peg leg pirate. At this point, I expected a Coco Dodo to thank me. He didn't. Dumb is so well, some uh, great looking shoes, pirate. Aw, oh, thanks, matey. Yeah, too bad you're headed for one of two of that. Yeah, too bad that you're headed for uh, one of two possible disasters. Eh? Possible disaster one. Shark. Yuck. Possible disaster two. Cannonball. Yuck. Ha ha. Now you have uh, a pig leg and only one great looking shoe. Grr. Squawk. I forgot he was a giant par pirate with a mighty big shoe. A giant pig like a pirate? That's all you got? That's your solution? What I want to know what is what to do about it. Ah, that is a different big deal mystery. Can you solve it? Not right now. We have to go. Why? Because Nina is eating your great, 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 great grandpa's super secret cookbook. By the time Coco Dodo got to her, she was swallowing the last page. Coco Dodo went nuts. He ran around in a circle, flapping his tiny re wings. I'm ruined, ruined. I can't bake a cookies without my super, super, re super secret recipes. We left it quickly. Chapter 11. When we got back to the office, I decided to give Nina a lesson lecture about not eating stuff that doesn't belong to her. Nina, you really upset Coco Dodo. Mm -hmm. She said, what? I can't understand that when you talk with your mouth full. She swallowed the doorknob that he that uh, she had been chewing and said, a big deal. I was about to tell her that it was really it was a big deal when the phone rang. Flytrap Detective Agency, I said, do you have a mystery? A big voice said, "Ah, oh, yes, matey. Is it a big deal mystery? I asked the big voice said, "Ah, oh, yes, matey. Are you a giant pet? Peg like pirate who's missing a shoe? I asked the big voice at said, R, oh, yes, matey. Aha, another big deal mystery solved. You will find your shoe on top of the Coco Dozo's uh, cookie store downtown. The big boy said, R, oh, thanks, daddy, matey. Part three, Inspector Flytrap has lunch. Chapter 12. Let's celebrate solving our latest big deal mystery, said to Nina. Let's go out for lunch. Nina did not say big deal. She takes lunch very seriously. She doesn't uh, care where to go. She just wants to go. How about Penguinis uh, Lugini? I ask. It's where we first met when uh, I uh, was a table decoration with a dream and uh, Nina was dining along, alone on the tablecloth. Instead of answering, she pushed me out the door and away we went. Luckily, Pagwini's Laginis is on my, our block, so we didn't have to cross the street. Hey, Pagwini, I called as Lena, Nina pushed me through the front door. Hi, Expector Flytrap. Great to see you again. Nina the Goat, you're looking good, honey. I like Pagwini because he always gets my name right. Well, it's a Yesterday special, I asked. Anchovy Revoli, he said. Wonderful. I said, that works. Help yourself, said uh, Puglini. Nina pushed me right through the restaurant. 
past the kitchen and into the alley in the back. There it was, an overloaded trash can filled with old rotting food. Mmm, said uh, Nina. Above uh, the uh, trash can buzzed a cloud of flies. Mmm, I said. We both had a feast. Part 4. Inspector Flytrap in the, the Big Deal Mystery of the Missing Rose. Chapter 13. My phone didn't ring. Hey, Nina, I said. I wonder why we're not getting any phone calls about the Big Deal Mysteries. She didn't answer. She was busy chewing on something. Maybe there are no more Big Deal Mysteries, I said. Nina just kept chewing. Hey, maybe that's a big deal mystery. I said, the mystery of no more mysteries. What do you think? Nina kept on chewing. Hey, what are you eating over there? I asked. Phone. She said, the phone? No one. No wonder we're not getting any phone calls, Nina. You're ruining the flytrap detective agency. Big deal. What's well, a big deal to me? Quick, push me to the phone store. When we uh, got to the phone store, the salesperson showed me the newest kind of phone. It was very, very small and had a lot of neat extras, like a camera, electronic electronic maps and a high powered and 3D video magnifying glass. Wow, I said that would be perfect for my job as a detective. What do you think, Nina? He, she ate it in one bite. <laughs> Too small, she said. Do you have any goat proof phones? I asked the salesperson. She, he sold me to the goat proof phone aisle. All the goats Proof phones were big and clunky and didn't have any cameras or any other co cool stuff. All right, I said, I guess I'll ha take the biggest, clunkiest, and least cool phone you've got. Back at the office, I plugged in the enormous new phone. It rang right away. Flytrap Detective Agency, do you have a mystery? A grumpy voice said, yeah, Mr. Flytrap, I sure do. Actually, my name is Expector Flytrap, I said. Who cares? All I care is uh, getting somebody to solve this mystery. Is it a big deal mystery? Duh, of course it is, said the grumpy voice. I want to waste my time out calling you over a small deal, deal mystery. The grumpy voice told me all about it. I'll be right over, I said, and hung up the phone. Nina, will you please help push me at two snoozy la 2D gardens? Someone has uh, stolen their lar largest and most beautiful flower. Big daffodil, said uh, Nina. No, I said, it's a rose. So this is the end of chapter 13. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!